strep throat. What is strep throat and how do people get it? How do you know if you have strep throat? How do you know if you have strep throat? What should you do if you have strep throat? What is strep throat and how do people get it? A strep throat is, is a bacteria. A bacteria. Until now, all we've talked about is viruses, but now we have a bacterial as the cause for strep throat. It's caused by streptococcal pyogens. Streptococcal pyogenes. Pyogen group A. Otherwise known as strep throat. Strep for short. Bacteria, they're much larger than viruses. In fact, thousands of times larger. You could fit approximately 1,000 viruses in one bacteria. But they act the same way as viruses. They travel on water droplets and travel through the air to infect the next person. Infecting people's respiratory tract. Just for example, a virus is like a penny next to a grapefruit. Bacteria is like a grapefruit and a penny is like the size of a virus. All right, back to strep throat. Back to strep throat. The illness occurs when the bacteria land and colonize on your tonsils. Colonize and multiply on the tonsils, which are in the back of your throat, causing an infection. All right, how do people get strep throat? How do people get it? Actually, it's the same method as other respiratory viruses that we've talked about in the past. Same method as any other virus. You get it through water droplets that travel from your respiratory system, out through the air, and into the next person's respiratory system. When you cough, sneeze, spit, yell, or even talk, they hitch a ride on the water particles that float through the air to the next person. You can also get infected by others by sharing utensils, drinking glasses, and toothbrushes. Another common cause is kissing. Strep throat usually affects people younger age. Mostly people under 30. But can really affect any age. Rarely people over 50. So you want to prevent this from washing your hands. Don't share utensils. Cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing. All right, what's the next question we have here? How do you know if you have strep throat? How do you know if you have strep throat? Well, you really don't. There's no real good test or group of symptoms that proves you have strep throat. We go by certain common symptoms. Sore throat, painful swallowing, fever, no cough. There's no cough typically with strep throat, but sometimes you could have a cough. Sometimes headaches, body ache, nausea, and abdominal pain. Red swollen tonsils with pus. Enlarged lymph nodes in the front of your neck. And we use certain acronyms. One good acronym is FACE. F a c e fever adenopathy which is lymph nodes in the anterior neck area or front of the neck cough but actually it's c with a line through it that means no cough exudate exudate is a fancy medical term for pus so it's pus on the back of the tonsils sometimes there's a rash associated with strep throat what's called a scarlet fever rash otherwise known as scarlatina it's a rash that's unique to strep throat a sandpaper like rash fine sandpaper red rash it's evenly spread out fine tiny bumps which are red not much else does this pathognomonic for strep throat so if you have this type of rash and it feels like a sandpaper when you feel it. Chances of having strep throat fairly high, especially if you have these other symptoms we talked about. Basically, if you got the rash, you got strep throat. When you go to an urgent care or a primary care provider or other facility, they may actually test you with a rapid strep test. Rapid strep test is not 100%. In fact, it's closer to 70 or 80% sensitive. A strep culture gets closer to 100%, but that takes several days to get the results. You kind of go by your symptoms, your doctor's intuition, and overall feeling for what's going on. What's the next question we have for today? What do I do if I think I have strep throat? What should you do if you have strep throat? A lot of times in society, antibiotics are over prescribed. Uh, it's a pretty general happening of today's society. But this is a clear situation that antibiotic is indicated. Antibiotics are indicated and should be done because strep throat can cause other significant complications such as heart complications, rheumatic fever, kidney complications, post streptococcal glomerular nephritis, throat complications, peritonsillar abscess, which is a abscess in the back of the throat from a strep infection. This can cause problems breathing, swallowing, and living. These are things that if you are getting worse, you do need to follow back up with your provider just to make sure that you're actually in the clear. Thank you for watching and please click the like and subscribe button to be notified for future videos.